Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today, this is part one to the T-51 Power Armor. Enjoy. So I started off with a Nerf gun box, 15 inches by 32 inches, and then I bent it against the corrugation and then glued a piece of cardboard to hold that shape. Now using Gorilla Glue and hot glue, I folded some cardboard onto itself and these are going to be support straps that get glued onto the chest piece. So here are my extra support strips. I usually tend to do this when building uh, large cardboard suits. So we have this secure enough. Uh, I'm going to cut a head hole and then add some foam on the inside of the shoulders. You want this piece to be kind of small and compact like the way I have it because all the additional pieces will begin to like bulk up the suit, especially the shoulder pads. As you know, on all the power armors are very large. There's been a lot of taking it off and putting it back on to figure out where the pieces are gonna go so they fit. But next we're going to build this portion going around my rib cage underneath the chest plate. We're basically going to add the main chest piece because I need to figure out where this line is going to end. This large piece of cardboard, you can also splice multiple pieces together, but I just held it up there so I can get a rough measurement of how wide the thing is. And we have our chest piece cut out mostly. It has a bend in it. Uh, this is where I'm going to figure out what's the best place to put it. I added a piece of foam and some extra cardboard so it matches uh, this level right here. So again, it'll like actually stay. Okay, so now I'm going to cut off uh, this Sharpie marker line that I did right here and then replicate it on this side as well. Now, just so you all know, there are plenty of scratches and blemishes that I have to uh, cover up eventually at the end, but there's no big deal. That will be filled in. So if your builds have all kinds of scratches and blemishes and glue spots like this here, don't worry because it's all part of the process. I don't know if I'll keep this as my helmet because I'm not sure how I want to paint this. Uh, I'm kind of considering making the Nuka-Cola one because it looks so cool. And if I do that, I'm going to have to make a new helmet because I don't want to paint this one because I like this silver one. Okay, so I'm actually going to build the exoskeleton part for the shoulder pads and I'm going to use uh, PVC pipe. I think this is inch or one inch PVC pipe. And um, what I did was I marked it evenly and I'm going to use a heat source to bend it at all those marks I made. I chopped it in half with a coping saw and the heat source can uh, be a heat gun, a gas stove or a fire. But if you do any of those things, even the heat gun, you should probably use adult supervision. So here's uh, one of the pieces. Now we're not trying to go for 100% accuracy, but I'm, I do actually need some kind of frame to hold up the bulky shoulder pads. However, this does mimic the actual exo, uh, inner skeleton of the power armor, but uh, it will rest here eventually in the future. But before we do that, we're going to work on the hinges that open up from the back here. And if you've seen my Gypsy Danger video, 
I have the two big armored wings on his back that are also on hinges that are made out of cardboard and a wooden dowel. And we're essentially going to do the same thing by folding cardboard on over to itself. This is three inches wide. And I'm going to glue it at an L shape and then continue layering cardboard. So then I'll have a big piece of support that opens up at a hinge. I did, in fact, glue it at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm just filling that uh, with hot glue using tape as a barrier and that's just to strengthen this piece because it will be holding a lot of weight. Uh, whenever you're waiting for something like this to dry, now would be a good time to go back on your build and seal the edges with more hot glue just to reinforce it because small things like this will uh, ensure that your build is quality. I did not mean to do that. Also, I'm using these black hot glue sticks. It hasn't melted all the way through yet. There's still some clear hot glue in this gun right now. But I have this big bulk pack I got from Amazon. Uh, there's like a hundred in here. And uh, they are superior in some ways. Like they are a little bit harder and dry quicker and they're a little bit more flexible, but it's just another option to your crafting. I chopped off the end right here so it's separate. I stuck a half inch wooden dowel piece in the bent part so it can slide in this slot right here and it can rotate this way and extend and contract. I used some elastic strap here uh, so it wouldn't come off and it's still stretchy so when it opens up uh, it twists and it has a little bit of give. So I added this back piece right here just to close off the uh, opening it left and also to connect these two together. Uh, now I'm going to add some more cardboard here to strengthen it. And of course, the biggest inaccuracy here is the fact that this part here, because usually the power armor um, opens up from the half right here, and this is the actual back piece that opens up. But remember, I want this to be practical and wearable, so that's why I'm keeping this part right here. And then we're gonna add some few details on the chest and on the shoulders and back, and then that will be it for now. So we have the detail on the front complete and it's reinforced on the back. Now this is a good stopping point for this tutorial. Uh, and then next we will finish the back and then the shoulder pads. I really like this feature. Opening it up and then you can get in just like that. Oh, 
Oh yeah. These are very sturdy. I'm actually impressed. I will eventually have some kind of string mechanism that I can pull that uh, will open up the back hatch. So we don't have to do it like this. Yeah. The helmet's actually okay like this, but I might build a new one for the new color scheme. So smooth. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.